Everybody had a hard year Nobody got their pay What a time for the lonely ones Thought every dog had its day What a time for the wicked The hungry and the brave Somebody call the cat in We don't need another stray If everybody had an answer Nobody would have to wait What a time for the wretches The hero never came Ain't nobody out there like us There ain't no two stones the same Let's marry him. It's getting hard to breathe. Won't somebody let some light in? Let's get hard to see. I'll be the great liberator and set somebody free. I've not even said good morning to you. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 18 of June Vlogs. So, this morning, will you stop licking? That's really loud on the camera. This morning, we have got quite a bit of yarn dyeing done. Um, I'll show you as it dries. Um, we've done some sock sets for the Stephen West Mystery Sock Along. I've done four. One is... A custom order one I think I may take so there's two left we haven't done loads because I really don't know how many people are doing it um, so there's just a couple um, what else was I gonna say I really need a drink I'm sorry I'm just gonna have to have a drink thank you for all the comments yesterday on the um, hello fresh I did look into it once I looked at the regular price, I thought, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> and yes, somebody else had commented that I'm a fussy eater. Sorry, I'm going to pick my knitting up. And yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm a fussy eater. So I probably <laughs> won't really like it. But thank you for the comments. So the rest of the day, um, I said to sort this yarn out, get that all sorted. So we need to nip out. We need to go get some cat food and... Uh, the gardeners here so we have been doing the grass ourselves because the gardeners have been so busy but we don't I've told you before the garden is incredibly bumpy all we can do is strim it it has to have an industrial mower and I'm talking from experience with that I've gone through four five mowers trying to do it myself and it 
it breaks the mowers because the garden is just so bad. It's bumpy, so bumpy. So the mowers don't last two minutes. So the only thing that works is an industrial mower, which I'm not buying an industrial mower. Um, so what we've been doing with the garden is cutting it in between when the gardeners can actually come round. It's just come round and said, I've noticed you've done the front. <laughs> and he just laughed. I'm like, yeah, we're not gardeners. <laughs> but it, it was appreciative that we'd got it down so his job's so much easier. We just did it with the strimmer. Anyway, that stitch is a bit dodgy there. What's going on there? Hold on. I have to drop that. Oh, no, I'm not. It's fine. So, I'm going to go get sorted and I will be back. We're just going for a walk. A know. little walk. Just to clear the cobwebs. Well, sure, I'm not a fabby sponsoring. <laughs> We are not sponsored by Diet Coke. <laughs> Hello. Love to be that was a sausage dog. Love to be sponsored by Diet Coke. I love sausage dogs. Oh my word, that was so cute. He looked at me as well. <laughs> right, I'll show you where we are. <laughs> We're expecting that. It's in a little well look at the trees. Just put the camera in his face. I love this house here. It's got a gorgeous garden. Oh, Imagine if you've got clean. kids growing up and you're right next to the park. The park is here. They'd love it, wouldn't they? Spent so long in that park when mine were little. So many hours. We were always there. Nice dog over there. Whoops. 
<laughs> walked into that. <laughs> oh, my arm's aching. That's better. Huh? I said my arm was aching. That's the equipment. Where are we? There we go. That I always, favorite. always say is Harry's favourite. He loves it. And once he get on, gets on it, you can't get him off it. He loves it. That's no, my. I'm not going on that just for the video. <laughs> that's my favourite. I will. I don't care. <laughs> You want me to film it while you do it? <laughs> I don't care, shall I go on it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. Uh, hang on then, hang on, I'll do it, I'll do it. Let's see how she does. <laughs> the ending's the best bit. <laughs> well that was fun. <laughs> See, I can't go on it because I'm too heavy. You're not too heavy. I am. You're not. Muscle mass, muscle mass. <laughs> <laughs> muscle mass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> can't hold the camera. Oh, I found out what they're building up there as well. Josh told me it's another little bowls thing. Very small if it's for bowls. The uh, test one. Yeah. Yeah, we test the bowls. <laughs> what? For the test of balls. Well, it looks like, hang on, look, it's on an angle. Well, an ang it looks like it an is. angle because the way the dog is, it's not. It's an angle. That can't be for balls. It might be like a different kind of, like in pool you've got. Oh, should we go under that tree there? What? I used to love going under here. Hang on, look. Under, under there. The attacked by squirrels. <laughs> Josh got attacked by a squirrel yesterday, it was so funny. <laughs> He was sat in the garden, it just came up to him and sat next to him, then jumped at him. <laughs> he didn't have to scream. It's really cool under here. A lot of midges. Oh. Look, I'd have loved this when I were a kid. Right on. Den. It's a proper den. Look. How cool's that? Complete un completely covered. Keep you warm, warm and dry. I do love this. Let me flip the camera. You want to go up? <laughs> Shoot. How cool is that? I do love that when I was a kid. I really would. I was a real tomboy, always climbing trees and getting myself into scrapes. We're going home now. Huh? What? What? No, I so said we're going home. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Told you, I keep losing it. I keep looking at something. Oh, He's actually. in a world of his own today. He so really I'm is. He's zoning out at the moment. He's in a world of his own. Do you hear that? Yeah, I'm just a little bit lost. There's no football until five o'clock. Normally it's two, five, eight, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is for bowls. Look. Yeah, it will be. It's small be. if it's for bowls, isn't it? There could be, it's got that there. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. It's, a bit, it's such a bit low, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> really There's normally up. a <laughs> squirrel that lives in this tree. He's not there today. Right, I'm gonna go. I'll be back. Hello everybody. Time for our evening chat. <laughs> I'm just sitting and working on the cow. I'm on my last section now. Oops, where are we? I'm keeping it folded so it's easier to turn. This is the last colour section. And then I'm going to do one more black section and then join it together. So I'm very nearly there with it. I've wanted to work on this all day. I've been looking forward to it all day. I was working on the sock last night and I'm really struggling with it, which is not like me at all, because normally I love knitting socks and I do love knitting socks, but I just want to work on this. This is the problem when you've got a project that you just want to work on. Everything else goes by the wayside. I've got my yarn wrapped around. What's it wrapped around there? There we go. Unwrapped it. So I'm going to reward myself tonight and sit and just work on this for the evening. Maybe try and 
just finish this mini I'm about halfway so I might just be able to finish it read my book which is so good so so good the passenger that I was talking to you about last night oh wow I have been addicted to it so I don't want to give too much away I know I did give you the blurb last night I'm only a hundred pages in so I can't be giving much away there's over 400 pages so I'm not giving anything away but yeah this woman Kaz she um boards the Atlantica with her boyfriend they're going to New York so they're crossing on the ship and she's a bit nervous about traveling but she looks into it she does all her research and she decides yep she'll go on this ship they have a lovely first night they meet another couple to talk to um until she wakes up the next morning and she's all alone I, i'm just keep reading it and just thinking what a story is this it has been I like my books, as you know, and I like a book to grab my attention. So I want to know what happens next. I much prefer reading a book to watching a film. Danny and I were talking about this last night because Danny likes to watch a film, whereas I'd much rather read a book. Um, and I, I see it all in my mind. I know a lot of you are the same. So it has to grab me. And a lot, you know, all the books that I read all grab me. But this one, I just want to read it. I don't want to watch anything on TV at all. I've not watched any YouTube since I started this book. I just want to read this book. Any minute I get, I'm reading the book. Anyway, she wakes up the next day and she's all alone on this ship. She thinks it's some kind of prank at first. And then she sort of thinks maybe they're having like an emergency briefing and she's missed it and they're all gathered in an area of the ship. It's not the case. She's completely on her own. She does find three other passengers on board the ship and they're all sort of not the worried but not panicking because they're on a ship, they've got food, they've got water. You know, it's quite a luxur luxurious ship. They're absolutely fine. The ship is travelling. There's no crew or anything, but the trip is. Uh, the ship is travelling. Is it autopilot when it's a ship? It's travelling automatically. The problem is they can change the course of the ship and they can't slow it down. They've tried to get out a radio signal but there's, um, it's not working, the radio signal's down, none of them have got mobile phone coverage. But they're not panicking at this point, and then all the power goes off. So all the power's just gone off, that's the part I'm at, they've no power, and they've tried to get to the food store area, and the emergency doors have locked because the power's gone off. The locks have come on so they can't access any food or water. And that's how far I've got. I'm, I'm completely addicted to it. It is so good. So this evening, that is going to be me. I'm going to be parked on, on this sofa with my book and my knitting. And I'm just going to be reading. We're supposed to be getting a storm as well. So if we get the storm, it's going to be the perfect combination. Storm outside, reading a book and doing my knitting. What a perfect night. Honestly, it's going to be amazing. So I'm hoping we get the storm. We are on amber alert for thunderstorms this evening. So we shall see. Um, I spoke to my next door neighbour earlier as well. And the kitten is doing fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. It was meant to be. He really was meant to be he settled in like an absolute trooper. Um, she said he's been brilliant. He's, you know, he's litter trained. He's using his litter tray like he should be doing. And he's just been introducing himself to everybody. He's got a lot of attitude for a kitten so small. Um, but she said, yeah, he's doing absolutely brilliantly. It was just meant to be. It was meant to be for, for their family. And I, I said to her, it's so strange how it happens with animals sometimes that you weren't planning to have one, but you just get one. 
and yeah is settled straight in she already has two cats um and two dogs and um she's got some chickens and the chickens are hatching as well she was saying um so th they've got a lot going on at the moment but he's settled straight in um so yeah i just i think it's strange with animals that sometimes who was i having this conversation with i can't remember but you can be looking for you know a furry member of your family for ages and there's nothing around and all of a sudden it's like an animal chooses you and he was meant to be for, for the next door neighbours he really was so yeah he's doing really really well uh, can you hear that? Miss Snorri you hear her? <laughs> I think it's so cute when she snores. Sometimes she wakes herself up snoring and she looks at me like I've woken her up. And I'm like, no, that was your snoring. You woke yourself up doing that. Look at these two over here. Both sleeping in the same position. That's Stuart. Stuart's the black and white one, and Luigi is the um, I don't know what you call it. Torch shell? No. The stripy one. Yeah. Both sleeping in the same position. Jack's in the kitchen filling his face with biscuits, and Polly is outside. She's in the garden. Polly is 13 years old and she likes to go and sit in the garden. But if you shut the back door, she panics and then she wants to come in because she's panicked because you've closed the door. So we've left the back door open because she, she wants to sit outside. So if I shut the back door, she'll just panic. So she's she's sat in the garden and I don't know where Bert is. I've not seen him. Well, he's been in, um, but I've not seen him for a couple of hours. I don't know where he is. It sometimes he sleeps on the hallway window upstairs. Is that on the long grass? Is it the long grass? Yeah. He's in the long grass, Danny says, at the bottom of the garden. It's really kind of weird weather, though. It's like um, Let's see with Polly. <laughs> yeah, it could have been Polly. It's like it's not warm. It's not cold. It's weird weather today. It looks like we're going to have a storm. The clouds are looking really grey, so it looks like we might. Oh, we'll see. I hope we do. It's going to be amazing if we do. I really hope. We had an amazing storm about a month ago. I think I've probably already mentioned it on the vlogs. It was the best storm I have seen in years. It was amazing. It was completely right over us. Me and Danny had gone to bed. And it started because this storm had been predicted. And we had a few rumbles of thunder and nothing else. And we were sort of saying, oh, well, that's typical weather, isn't it? The promises, these things, and they don't deliver. And we'd gone to bed and then it started. Oh, it was so loud. I'd gone out into the hallway. Oh, that was it because um, Luigi was out. And who It might have been Bert. Two of the cats were out. So Danny was at the back door trying to get the cats and I'd gone down to the front door to try and get the cats. Obviously, they'd hidden somewhere, so they weren't coming in. But it was just so loud. All the neighbours were out on the street and when it lightened, it just lit up the whole street like daylight. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't think we're going to get that tonight, though. She's still snoring. Bless her. Right, I'm going to get off. I hope you all had a lovely day and you all have a lovely evening. Let me know in the comments what you're working on. I always like to know. And I will see you tomorrow for day 19 tomorrow. This June's gone really quick. It really has. I can't believe it's so I've got something in my eye. That's why my eyes have gone like that. And when you get something in your eye and you kind of like open them wide. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow for day 19. Everybody have a lovely evening.